What's up guys, welcome back to Black Star Anime, the anime community's voice of reason. I'm your host Cody Rodriguez, and today we're going to be doing five things. This particular five things, we're going to be talking about five anime studios that you should all be watching. The first one on our list is going to be Studio Madhouse. Studio Madhouse was founded in the 70s and has become one of the, if not the staple anime studio for the anime industry. Studio Madhouse delivers original, high quality anime that usually does not falter throughout its run. Some of their most notable works include Hunter x Hunter, Death Note, Black Lagoon, Summer Wars, One Punch Man. Our second studio on the list is going to be Production IG. Coming to us in the late 80s, Production IG has been bringing us some of the best anime visually and emotionally for over the past 25 years. Some of their best works also include Attack on Titan, Psycho Pass, Ghost in the Shell, Pokemon Origins, Kuroko's Basketball. Our third studio on the list is going to be A1 Pictures. Despite the fact of being one of the newer anime studios, A1 Pictures was established by Aniplex for the sole purpose of making great anime. Some fan favorites from A1 Pictures include Your Lion April, Birdie the Mighty, Decode, Space Brothers, Black Butler, Sword Art Online. The fourth studio on our list is going to be Sunrise. Possibly the most well-known studio in Japan, Sunrise made a critical debut in the 70s with Gundam. And afterwards, they just made consistent fan hits from then on. Some of these fan hits include Code Geass, Cowboy Bebop, Gundam, Inuasha, Gintama. The fifth studio on this list is going to be Studio Bones. Formed from highly skilled members of Studio Sunrise, Studio Bones has become one of the staple studios that have created some of the most iconic anime in anime history. And if you don't believe that statement, check out some of these anime. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Sword of the Stranger. Eureka 7, Soul Eater, Oran High School Host Club. And for an added bonus, we have a Studio on the Rise pick. Our Studio on the Rise pick is going to be Studio Mappa. Established in 2011, Studio Mappa was founded by Masayu Maruyama, the founder and former producer from Studio Madhouse. Some of the works from Studio Mappa include Kids on the Slope, Terra in Resonance, Rage of Bahamut, Genesis, Ushio in Torah, Garo, the Animation. So that's going to be it for this five things. I really hope you enjoyed this list. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, Leave a comment down below. Let me know which studio you liked or did not like. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. It really helps the show. And also, share this video with your friends. I've been your host, Cody Rodriguez, and we'll see you next time on 5 Things. If I had a book that could kill with just the name, would I fly into a rage and write in it every day, or would I hesitate to scribble a name on the page? Would I choose to kill them all in the name of good, or would I murder for the thrill every moment I could? I'm killing everything moving, I told them I would. You don't want to be the next name I write in my book.